hi everyone hope you are doing good uh, welcome to the next video on my youtube channel my name is saurabh bharti microsoft dynamics 365 professional in today's video i am going to talk about uh, a specific use case or the scenario which you might come across in your projects as well so uh, recently i was talking about i mean i was uh, discussing with one of my customer and uh, where we are using the free text invoice as a solution for posting certain customer invoices and my customer said like uh, uh, I'm going to create this invoice which is absolutely fine but I want to put some description on my invoice header and I want that description to be appeared on my customer transaction as well as on my ledger transactions right now, if you look at the free text invoice, which right now I'm sharing on my screen, we do not have any field for capturing the header description. Unlike uh, if you if you if you remember about the vendor invoice against the purchase order, we have got the description field there, and based on which we can create a default description and then uh, uh, post it to your or or reflect in your customer transaction or the ledger transactions but uh, we do not have anything here so what is the solution how we can do that one of the option yes we can go and do some customization ask our technical consultant to do that but another solution which i feel is using the field uh, additional of field which we can uh, do functionally and that field also can be added in your uh, data entities okay and we can use that uh, functionality i have already created a video on that and i'm going to put that video link in the description but i'm going to do use that specific feature for uh, doing this uh, achieving this use use case so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, personalize uh, my uh, header and then i'm going to add a field okay now, when I click on add a field, uh, I will have this option of uh, creating a new field here. So I want to create a new field and I want to create this field in the customer free text invoice table. And the field name is, let's say, description, right? What is the type of field? Uh, I'm going to have this as a text field because I'm going to enter some description. My label is description here. And I can say that enter header description for free text invoice, right? And what is the length? Uh, I'm not going to keep it uh, a bigger field. So I'm going to keep the length as 50. Okay. So I can do this and then I can save this specific field. Now, this is going to save uh, the field in the table and then if I cancel this, uh, this field is going to be available for me to selection. Now as a next step, what I have to do is that I have to add this field uh, and, and make it available in the data entity. So for that, what I need to do, I need to navigate to the system admin. So let me do that. So I will go to system admin and under setup, I have the option of custom fields. So I'm going to add this field here and uh, I'm going to click on new. Or, oh, sorry, I need to select the table. So custom invoice table where I have added, it, it, it will be available for me. And if I see all the details are here and this field is available in these two data entities. So I'm going to add this into these two data entities uh, so that if you if you even want to import the data for into this field for the free text invoice, you can do that. So I will apply the changes and now the changes are applied. And now I can go to my free text invoice and then try to see this field and and, and, and it should be available for me. So if I click on the new and uh, if I just select, uh, let's say a customer account for now, it's not available here. Let's try to personalize at a field here. And I'm going to 
search for the description field so it is available here so i'm going to select this description field here and click update okay so now this field is available for me to enter the description right but what i'm going to do is that first i'm going to uh, i'm going to add a default description uh, for using this field so how do i configure that so i can go to default description uh, which is available for me to define so i'll go to organization setup and select this default description so what i'll do I click on new and i can select from the drop down it is going to be be, a, be my customer invoice so this is for sub ledger so let's say the language is en us and i click on this and i select my table where i have added this and then i can just search my field here so this is my custom field so i want this and i will set up a default description here for this let's say the same thing i want for my ledgers also so i can select the customer invoice ledger here right so same thing in us i'm going to save this add field select this and search for my description field here so this is available here put it as a percentage four and i have set up my default descriptions now the same step i can repeat for the credit notes also because i can also post the credit notes using the free text invoice now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to create a free text invoice and post it and let's see like if in our in my using this field whether i will be able to capture my description in my customer transactions or the ledger transactions so i have uh, created this uh, invoice and i have entered some description here and now this description should be uh, available on my customer transaction so let's uh, let's post this particular invoice i'm not going to check any credit or something so let's see this invoice posting and see the transactions I have posted this i can click on the invoice journal here and i can go to transactions and if you see in the description column on my sub ledger that default description which i have captured it has been populated and if similarly if i go to vouchers it has not posted so what i can do is maybe in the journal ledger it has not yet transferred so i can go to periodic task not yet transferred this is my free text invoice let's transfer this and let's see the vouchers so if you see here again in the description it has been captured on my ledger also so i know i mean this is a uh, uh, this is not any specific feature or something it's just about uh, how did I resolve my one of the use case so I just wanted to share with you so so that you can also think about such solutions uh, in your projects hope this is going to help you uh, and that's it for this video and uh, we'll see you in the next one thank you take care